Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I have my boyfriend with me. You wanna introduce yourself? Yeah, my name is Nasir. And today, as you can see by the title, we're doing the spicy noodle challenge. This is the type of noodles that we have. We have the two times spice ones too, but I feel like we should try these ones first before we get into something that's way too spicy for us. So we're gonna put the noodles, well, the sauce in the noodles. Just... Oh. Ew. <laughs> Y'all see? Why it look like that? Ew, it looked like blood. Yeah, I don't know, my guy. You know what I'm getting? He can make this. Some nasty looking shit. Put it in. <laughs> it don't smell too spicy though. It's not like burning your nose, right? No. Yeah, it don't smell too hot. It's still winging. But it's on my fingers. Breath <laughs> So while we do this challenge, we're going to talk about and let you guys know how we met. We've been together for three years, going on four. Well, it'll be four years, January 1st of 2020, but we're just going to do a little story time as well. Mm -hmm. right. nasty. They do, but we're going to see how they are. So do you want to start wanna, it off? Like, prep it up a little bit. What you mean? Like what you do to the noodles? On no, the we gotta eat them just like this. I'm not gonna do all the extra stuff, like put in, cause those is regular top ramen. These already got the spice and stuff in it, so we should be fine. Right, wait, you so do you want to start off, Al? No, you would. Okay, so we met in college. We both go to the same school. We go to Bloomsburg University, and we met our freshman year. We did an equi <laughs> We had to do a summer program basically. And he was stalking me. <laughs> I don't really believe that. <laughs> he was stalking me. I wasn't trying first of all, okay, let me let me start way, 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 way back. So we had one of our morning classes together and this guy right here was always late to class. Like the teacher started asking me after a while where he was and mind you, I didn't even know him. So I guess the teacher saw that we sat next to each other or whatever and he started asking me, but that's something different. So after a while of us having class together, maybe a week or two go past and all of a sudden I see him in our dorm hall and I seen him on the, was it on the elevator? I don't know, but I yeah. seen him, it was on the elevator and he was trying to put his number in my phone and I was not trying for, not, I did not want him to have my number, period. So his finesse was, was that he needed help with the homework. I did. I don't think he really needed help with the homework. He was talking about coming to my room and doing homework or whatever. And I'm like, no, we can go to the lounge in a public place and do homework because what do you need to come to my room for? Like, I just really wasn't understanding. So he was trying to come to my room, like I was saying, and trying to study and do homework. And the homework was easy. The homework was like definitions, or we had to like read a book or something. Either way, the, the homework was easy. I don't read the mm. type book he wanted us to read, so yeah. But I wasn't, I always try, I never try to come to your room. We keep saying it. Whew! Oh my gosh. It stinks. Ooh. Right. No. I'm already hot. Mm, I just spit. I'm already hot, so it's making me more hot. It that it's not that spicy, but the after spice. But don't try to sit here and say that you didn't try to come to my room because he was uh, like, oh. I can. Go ahead. He was like, I could come to your room and you can help me. And I'm like, no. Because I remember I was like, no, we're going to go to the lounge. Because I'm not that type of girl. He just said it's not that bad, though. But anyway, I'm not that type of girl to just let you. I didn't know you. I didn't know you from nowhere. We just met, and you need help with your homework. Okay, so we're going to do homework in a public space. Like, you're not about to just go around telling people I never that. said that we couldn't do it in a public space, you feel me? But, but she was like, you automatically said room. It wasn't, <laughs> it wasn't like, 
okay, well, where you want to do, where you want to help me? And it wasn't like that. It was like, all right, let's go to your, like, I can come to your room and you can help me. Anyway, so after I, I did wind up helping him with his homework, the little bit of help that he did need, it wasn't even that bad. And then after a while, like, I would just see him around. We would, the way Act 101 was set up, it was like really small and it was majority black people. So everybody knew everybody. Like, we went out to parties. We would always see each other. Like, we didn't even have to be hanging out for us to see each other. Like, we would see each other all the time. Because our school is predominantly white. So yeah, like, we go to a predominantly white school. It's like 7% black, maybe right, 6, maybe 5%. But yeah so i always seen this boy around i'm like okay i do not want to talk to him he tried to get his number his my phone he trying way too hard ill right. he from north philly like uh -uh, i'm not about to sit here he dirty no it's not south philly is it okay that's not even but south philly south is the philly. best part of philly y'all know how they get what you mean you know how they get what are you talking about they line you up mm -mm. and i don't know how i'm with you because it's not true did I line you up? Not yet. Not yet. Okay. So now just be with me I and not and story. not trust me. Mm -hmm. But whatever. So then after a few, no, not even a few. After the Act 101 was over, it's now fall semester, and he's still trying to shoot his shot. But he's not trying as hard this time. Well, he wasn't even really trying hard in the summer. He was just throwing little hints here and there, calling me his wife, blah, 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 blah. we gonna get married, trying to finesse me. But I low-key was falling for him. I'm like, why is he calling me his wife? Like, da, 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 da. I was not thinking that he was what he was trying to do, but we get to the fall semester and his roommate was doing all of his dirty work for him. Every time I seen his roommate, his roommate be like, yo, why you playing with my man Nas? Why you playing with my bro? Da, 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 da. And I'm just like, what are you talking about? Like, I don't even like him. Like, why are you keep asking me? Like, why am I playing with your bro? Like, we're not together. He never showed me that he really liked me that much for you to say this every time I see you. So after his roommate kept saying it over and over again, I'm like, okay, maybe I should give this boy a try. And then I remember, you remember that time we went to breakfast in um, the Huskies? He don't remember. That just goes to show how much that meant to him. But that was the first time we actually sat down and talked to each other, like just us two. Yeah. You don't remember that? Who were you? We had breakfast. It was like breakfast sandwiches. You drunk all your stuff. I didn't even drink mine yet, but you were just saying it is not that hot. No, it's just not hot. Though. All right, then keep keep eating it. Or you want to take the story over from here? No, you gonna tell your story. I'm gonna tell my part. Okay, so you capping? I'm not capping. So we had breakfast, and I'm like, okay, I'm getting to know him. And I remember because it was right before our show in the house. Remember, we had a show. <laughs> he over here stressing. <laughs> so we had the breakfast we talked or whatever and i was like okay i'm getting to know him he's not that bad and then when i really realized that maybe he actually do want to get to know me was that he used to come to my room like remember he used to come to my room and we used to just talk for a long time but we never used to do anything like you never used to try anything we would just talk and that time we talked until seven o'clock in the morning like he probably came in my room like 12 or 1 and we was just talking all night and i'm just like hmm okay maybe we can get some <laughs> maybe we can get somewhere so then after time went past like i would just go to his room and i would spend time in his room but i would never stay the night it took a long time for me to stay at night in his room. And here come his roommate again. Yo, why don't you stay the night with my bro Nas? Da, 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 da. And I'm just like, no, like I'm gonna go back to my room three, four o'clock in the morning and take myself to sleep in my bed by myself because this ain't that. This is not that. Right. This is not that. Yeah. Anyway, so then we started getting to know each other way more. Then we really started to talk like towards the end of the fall semester. Like I would say like Thanksgiving break is when we, I used to go and see him. Like I used to ask my um, stepdad for his car and I would just go to North Philly and see him and spend time with him. And then it's New Year's now, fast forward to New Year's. And 
Let's get you, you were just supposed to say that we met. Huh? No, that was my part. Okay. That was how we met. Okay, so you that was how to, that's everything how else. Did. That's everything. Okay, so that's everything about how we met. And he's going to tell you yeah. everything so, else. Act 101, which is Bloomsbury Summer Program before we become freshmen. I seen her, my eyes, a little good job. So I think I, yeah, she told the truth about the elevator stuff and all that, all that stalking, stalking stuff. That's cat. I ain't even that boy. So I'm like, all right, she a good job, who did? I mean, come at her on the elevator, try to get her number or whatever. Got that job. Right, he forced it. Force. I didn't force it. You type the number in. You, okay. Y'all heard my story. Y'all heard my person, right? He put like his number in my him. phone. He took my right, phone and put his number in it. If y'all didn't hear it, it before. At the end of the day, y'all didn't matter. You let me do it. I didn't say skinny that shit. <laughs> so, it was hot. I don't think I could do it. Mm -hmm. But after that, I had class with her, you feel me? She said... I ain't gonna, I wasn't really trying like that, cause like, you feel me? I just, I'm laid back type boy. I ain't on that hype, sh hype stuff. You first. I ain't on that hype shit. Oh, on your top, you know that. Uh, <laughs> I'ma just play my rule, you feel me? Play my cards the way you don't. If you don't want me, you don't want me. I ain't about to be me. More of the story, I was flirting with her like from time to time. Like when we go to parties or I see her after parties or just like whenever I see her, I just flirt with her and stuff like that. Then time go past me. We actually had a party in the summer and she danced. I grabbed her and danced with her. Mind you, she ain't danced with nobody, but she don't like me, right? I really didn't dance with nobody. He was the only person that I ever danced with at a party. So somebody was capping. <laughs> so, like I said, only one. And after that, time still go past. We get to like freshman fall or something like that. I wasn't really trying. Like I just was like, he wasn't trying. It is what it is. Like you, I ain't really like that hype. That I wasn't impressed. You feel me? So like when I see her, I rap to her, bust it up, couple combos. I wasn't forcing the situation, you feel me? That ain't me. Then we started getting cooler, but she was, I mean, she was choosing and all that. I was choosing. So I was, my man was supposedly doing all my dirty work. He was. But that's what niggas do. Like, you gonna be like, yo, what's up with you and my man? Like, every time. I ain't expected every time, but like, no. I didn't tell him to do that. He did it he every just time. Did it. Like, what's up with you and my man? Like, and he know who he is if he watches this. It's just how we carry it. Just as it was the other way around. I was in the same thing. But like, how he know to do that though? Like you was talking about me. Yeah, we had a conversation about you before, but I ain't say go out and do this so she could mess with. No, I just was playing my playing my role, play way back high, baby. So I did me. You're not going to eat no more than this. No, that shit hot. Shit cooking my mouth right now. After that. I basically just start messing with her even more. She's she was choosing, but at the end of the day, they're choosing me. And that's just how it went. Like it ain't really all that stalking shit. She lying. He did stalk. I never stalked you. He I did lying. stalk. You make me you just maybe just, I'm being dramatic, but from my point you. of view, I felt like he was stalking me. Oh. I don't know, like... That ain't even me. I know you can't. I don't... What? Stop. Continue. Where did stop it? Continue. What did I do that was good? Continue. Stop. Go ahead. Listen, don't believe that she said. Clearly, stalking. But she chose. And that's how we got together. Now... Okay, so now... So now... So how we're stalking. No, I'm not going to talk about that. You said you wasn't stalking me. I said you were stalking me. I'm being dramatic. Whatever. So fast forward to New Year's. Because it's how we officially got together. All right, all right. 
So fast forward to New Year's, I went to a little party for like what, what um, who did I go to a party with? I drove to a party in North Philly. <laughs> with, um, I drove to a party in North Philly and it was like a friend that I knew from dance or whatever. So it was his party. And I'm there or whatever. And then I realized, okay, I'm in North Philly. So why not try to see Nasir? So I, I hit him up or whatever. And he was like, yeah, I'm at my grandma's house or whatever. You can come over or whatever. So mind you, it was like 12 one. And I'm like, okay, I'm gonna just go over there. So I'm all looking cute. I'm all dressed. I look cute or whatever. So I go over there and we sit in the house at first. And like we talking and we just chilling. And then I think he get like a call, like one of his friends was coming to pick him up or something. So as I'm getting ready to leave, you remember? Cause I didn't stay for a while. I, I, I didn't stay for that long. I left like maybe like 20 to half an hour. And um, as I'm leaving out, he walking me out, whatever. He walked me to my car and his friend is waiting for him. And I'm getting in the car and then out of nowhere, he kisses me. So how it happened? I didn't just force it like I didn't no, I never said I never said you forced it. I didn't say you said, come here. I didn't say that. I said like he took me by surprise and he kissed me. I wasn't expecting it. And of course he don't remember our first kiss. You see what type of boyfriend I'm dealing with right here? No, Do y'all see? So what are you thinking about? You wasn't expecting it. How was I expecting you it? You kissed me back. Yeah, I, I'm not saying that I didn't kiss you back. I wasn't expecting you to lean in. You didn't say, give me a kiss. It wasn't like that. It was like, all right, see you. Y'all can't believe nothing he said because he don't remember. My memory is A1. Like, I remember everything. Like, I, I just remember everything. That's why your nose is running. It is running. It's hot. But anyway, so he leaned in for a kiss. Oh, Eat some more. Bro. Cool. So he leaned in for a kiss. I kissed him back and that was... Well, it was January 1st, so I took that as we're together, period. So we, so January 1st is our anniversary date, and that was also the first, well, that date is also the date when he kissed, well, when we had our first kiss, if that makes sense. He never officially asked me to be his girlfriend. I am his girl. He never officially asked me to be his girlfriend. He already he just was saying, I'm taking you out, I'm buying you stuff. So that yeah, he don't do that with everybody. He don't buy nobody nothing. So I he took that as that I should already know that I'm his girlfriend because he don't do that with just anybody. But I didn't know that. So he said that I kept asking him when I was gonna be his girlfriend. I don't remember that part. Oh, but you have got good memory. I do okay. So you lying. I'm not lying. I don't, because I really don't remember kept, that I kept asking you, like, when I'm going to be a girlfriend, when I'm going to be a girlfriend, da, 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 da. I don't remember I kept asking. I do remember asking about Instagram a lot. I remember asking about that. But I don't remember asking about being his girlfriend. But if he say it happened, yeah. it happened. So, he said, I'm not, so, we, we, I guess after I kept asking him, asking him, asking him, he was like, you already, my great already know that. So, we just made... Our anniversary January 1st because that was actually the first time that we like kiss and I feel like you wouldn't just kiss any girl right no. so that okay so that means that date that well that date that he kissed me he made me his girlfriend but without actually asking me to be his girlfriend that makes sense to some degree well it makes sense to me and it makes sense so it makes sense it makes sense so ever since then we have been together. We are going on four years. I think I said that already. Yeah. But that is the story about how we met. Are you happy with your choice? Are you? Yes. Yeah. What do you mean? Am I happy with my choice? Don't buy your noodles. I think, okay, these noodles, they're good, but I gotta let my mouth cool down. Like my mouth is cool now. And now I keep some more. I think I ate more than him. He still got a full thing. I ain't fucking with it. You don't like it? Mm -hmm. It's too spicy for you? Nah, dude. Like, they just ass. I just think, like, I don't know. Like, these shits just 
I feel like they're even good cold because they're not even that hot no more. They're like kind of cold. And to me, they take the spice down. But my level of spice is kind of higher than his. Well, I guess we're done with the noodles. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for watching this video. And I hope you enjoyed this story time about how we met. Who do y'all really think is telling the truth about the stalking part? Because I think... <laughs> I think from my point of view that he was stalking me. I'm not stalking like he's crazy. and He's saying that he's going to kill me if I don't give me his... If he don't take my number. I'm not saying it was that type of stalker no, situation. But I'm saying like you just taking my phone and putting your number in it. That's kind of aggressive. Hold on, hold on, hold on. No. Oh, I went like, give me... You was like, you we're was gonna, like, we're gonna do it right now. You was like, give me a phone. We're gonna do it right now. You was like, put my number in your oh, phone. So I was I like, no. So, this, let's just say this is my phone. So I'm getting off the elevator. Yeah, take it from me so I can see. Okay. You know, so he's like, yo, like, I need help with the homework. You no. know, speaking. Mm -hmm. blah, blah, blah. I'm saying no, like, get away from me. No, I don't want to talk to you. You didn't say that. God, I didn't say all of that. Like, I was like, no, like, I don't remember what I said exactly, but I know I wasn't trying to, like, I, I wasn't trying to give him my number, period. You wasn't, like, like, whatever. So, he was like, all right, just, and that's how it happened. So, the, what? Dude, why like that? So, how did you take it? I ain't never. How did you take it? So, how? You probably was, like, here. Bro, cause I don't remember taking your phone from you. Why would I just take a phone from random girls? Give me your now. Shit. I'm just a random girl. I'm you not was random at the time. Yeah, I was random at the time, but I'm not making it seem like you was being like aggressive, I I aggressive. Just, like I know me, and I know I wouldn't just be like, "All right, so you said no, but I'm gonna just do this shit anyway." Okay. So we could go back and forth about this all day, but thank y'all so right. much. <laughs> Come <Right>. back. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching this video. I really hope y'all enjoyed this story time. And I will see y'all in the next video. Bye. Bye, bro. <laughs>